congratulations on the win. Just uh, general big statement of the future. Uh, it was great. We, um, it's just so thrilling to see us keep um, growing and playing to our potential and working together as a team and um, just simple goals as a team and playing forward and uh, yeah, it's just, it's just thrilling. Yeah. Um, so obviously you came out strong in the first set and won 25-15 then that second set kind of went back and forth there. Yeah, take us a little bit through that set. Um, you know, you as well as one of the players kind of the back and forth. It looked like you know, they were going to tie it up. Then you were able to take the set. So I think um, it's kind of uh, the sport of volleyball has a lot of m m momentum flows. And we definitely tend to come out really strong in the first set. We're in that flow right now. And then slow in the second, just sitting back over a little bit of cushion. So as coaches, we were really trying to instill in them to stay confident, keep pushing for points um, every time we went back to the service line. So. And then Sarah and Malia, if you want to talk about the second set. We were making a lot of uncharacteristic errors for us. Our communication was going down, and we were really, I think, beating ourselves a lot of the time. They had some obviously great points, but I think a lot of the points that caused the game to be that tight, it was really on us. And then once we started picking up our communication again and really just staying together as a team, we were able to stay more true to how we can play in the next set. Okay, Lily, you want to add to that? Um, no, that was basically, I thought that was what. Um, this is about Sam Malia. Like, obviously, you were able to hold them, you know, to 129 hitting percentage of the day. Um, just talk about you know your defensive game plan against Randolph Macon and were you able to execute it? Um, I think we just uh, I don't know. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> um, well, always with defense, our motto is no drop balls or like nothing hits without a player going with it, um, and we've been really holding each other accountable to that all season. Um, we had a few throughout the game where, you know, like it dropped anyways, but we were really trying to push ourselves like nothing hits without us at least making our best effort to go for it. We were also really trying to cover more balls because we knew that they were a really large blocking team. Um, I think we were really successful in both of those aspects except for the one lull in the second game. So I think we did a pretty good job. I also think we focused a lot on blocking um, as part of our defense this, this whole season and I think that that showed um, mm -hmm. pretty well during the game. And what does it mean, and anyone who can answer this, just to you know, be in the NCAAs for the first time a lot, to be able to you know, get a victory in the opening in the first round and move on? I think it, for um, all of us, it just it proves that we are good enough to be here. You know, we've come very close to getting at larges. Our conference is one of the, tough in the toughest in the region. And we've been in the conference uh, championship match the last two years. And to lose again, yes, for a second year, but to be redeeming and represent ourselves well and as a region, as a conference, it's just really awesome. It's almost unreal. I don't think it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. surreal. Yeah, I have just two questions. Um, how did you kind of, in the first set, you know, first time in the NCAA tournament, just kind of treating it like any other match, you know, despite the environment and sort of the implications, how did you kind of um, go into that and, and sort of, um, I don't know, be steady in, in the way that you were able to take that first set? Well, I think a big part of it was I leaned on my colleagues and asked them um, advice about coming into the tournament for the first time, and we really treated it like a conference match. And thinking about an opponent that was similar to them that we've played this season or typically through the last couple of years so that our team had a reference point of what to expect, and we just and then stuck to our game plan because we really sticking to what we do well um, and just capitalizing when we can. So I think that that's what really we stuck with it. And then just last question. Is it... How is it sort of, um, you know, we were in Baltimore last weekend, different site, but similar area, same trip. Um, does that, do you think that helps with kind of treating this like any other match, the sort of, you know, we've done this before, we did it last week, we did it last year, you know, we know what to expect. You guys go ahead, go ahead, Sarah. It's definitely more familiar, like knowing, or at least when I heard it was in Baltimore, I think a lot of the team was a little bit more relaxed, especially when we were hearing that nearby teams have to go like, Ohio or our soccer team has to go to New York so I think it was nice that it was a little bit familiar but also we were really working on letting go of what happened last weekend keeping that part of um, the familiarity like um, out of our minds right now and just focusing on this weekend so yeah it is nice but we're really trying to focus on like the present the now. I agree. <laughs> All right great thank you very much. Thank you. Right, congratulations. Thank you very much.